So here is tonight's dinner. I'm doing tilapia and I just did it with olive oil, some fresh squeezed lemon, some diced tomatoes, and then I seasoned it with um, lemon pepper and uh, garlic salt. And now I'm just frying it up. Then we're also going to have this on top of rice and some corn on the cob and watermelon. And normally I wouldn't have corn on the cob and rice like in the same meal. I try to keep, you know, like one carb per meal, I guess, like one carb at dinner. But um, I really like having rice with this dish. And we also, I got corn on the cob like two weeks ago and we have not eaten it yet. So we need to eat it before it goes bad. So we're doing all of that for dinner tonight. Okay, so I was going to wait until my fall haul to light this, but I just couldn't. It's It smells so good. It's the Sweet Apple. This is the Mainstays brand from Walmart. They're like literally the size of the Bath & Body Works candles, and these ones are slightly less than $5. They're like $4 and change. And they're huge and they smell amazing. Um, I think I'm just like in the apple scent because we got a ton of apples today. I have a bunch of plans for these. I'm gonna make some like little mini like handheld apple pie sort of things. I'm gonna do like some apple cinnamon pork chops. Um, I wanna do apple nachos, which I saw on Pinterest and they just look so yummy. And there was another one. Oh, and then like, um, I want to do like a like apple topping, like a, uh, I don't know what it's called, but like, like a cinnamon apple topping to put on top of like waffles or French toast or pancakes um, for breakfast. Um, my kids are probably going to be so sick of apples by the time these are all, I mean this is like a big basket and we got a lot. My kids are going to be so sick of apples by the time these are all gone. I hope not because they both love apples. Apples are probably actually like apples and clementines are the only fruit that they both like. Um, other than that, they have like totally different tastes in fruit. So I hope they don't get too sick of these because like we have so many. And then um, I'm still going to haul it because I got two of these. Um, I'm still going to haul the other one in the fall haul, which will probably be up in September because I'm I want to get all of the Miss Myers fall cleaning sprays. Um, and include those in the haul as well but those are not coming out on to Grove Collaborative till the end of August um, they already have like big packs of them for pre-sale but I don't want the big packs I just want to buy the individual sprays and they're already for sale at Target but Target does not have the mom scent they did not have the mom scent last year and Target also does not have the spiced pumpkin scent the spiced pumpkin scent you can only buy from Grove Collaborative. You can't buy it on Miss Meyer's website and it's a new one. I really want to try it and they also have a spiced acorn which is also new but you can get spiced acorn at Target. So and then they also have apple cider which was um they had last year and you can buy that everywhere too. But I'm waiting for the Miss Meyer stuff. Speaking of which I've been I just wiped off the counters that's why these are out. Um, but I have basil. This is like my favorite scent um, that's not seasonal. Um, I was not a huge fan of the spring scents to be honest. They actually add, just added peony to like their permanent line. I didn't really love it. I liked the mint scent from springtime but I still like this basil scent more. Then I also have this geranium which I'm having a really hard time using this one up because I bought this one in my first trimester when my morning sickness was like so bad and um the smell of it like takes me back to that. It makes me feel so nauseous. So I'm like trying to use this one up because I don't want to have it anymore, but the smell still makes me like really nauseous. Um, but like I said, I love basil and I have another one over there. I just kind of grab them as I need them. Um, but yeah, trying to use these up so that way I can get the fall scents in a couple weeks. And I'm gonna be buying a ton of them and stocking up because I'm gonna use the fall scents pretty much until the holiday scents come out. So yeah, that is really it for now. Okay, so I'm about to take a shower, but I just pulled this out of my drawer. It's the pumpkin picking scent. I'm totally like in the fall mood. I've only used this maybe twice because I got it at the semi-annual sale like after Christmas and it smells so freaking good. Um, 
I don't know. It's not it's not really as good as the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I don't even know if they still have that one anymore in body sprays. Um it's not as good as that one, but it's still like really, really good. And it says it has it's like cinnamon spice cider, fresh pumpkin pie, hay rides to the patch. Oh, that's what it's inspired by. I definitely smell some like spiced cider in there. And then I also want to talk about this. Shea butter. Erin Williams always talks about how she uses shea butter for her um, belly to prevent stretch marks. So let me open it up and show you guys what it looks like. It just looks like that. I've been using it on my belly. I've like already had stretch marks so hopefully it helps lighten those ones once baby's born and helps prevent getting like more. But um yeah I've been trying this out in the past. I've always used lavender oil. But as some of you may know, I don't love the smell of lavender. It's just, it's not my favorite scent. I know it's meant to be like calming and anxiety inducing, but I just do not like the scent of lavender unless it's like mixed with something like lavender and lemon or something. So um, I've been using this and also occasionally rosehip oil, but mostly this. So, and I just melt it in the microwave. I think um, Aaron. Williams was talking about how she melts it in a wax warmer. I just do it in the microwave. So yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to take a shower and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. We just went and picked up our Walmart grocery order. Um, so I'm going to go home and do a little haul for you guys. I also just stopped and got Starbucks. This is an iced soy vanilla latte which is what Sadie XO here on YouTube, she always talks about it. Um, she always gets it. Um, and she was mentioning in a vlog a couple vlogs ago how she feels like they give her a, they charge her like a different amount every single time she gets it. Um, and so she challenged subscribers to go get it and see how much it costs them. So it cost me $5.66, which seems like a lot for a coffee, but I haven't gotten coffee in like a really long time. I've been getting iced tea and iced teas at Starbucks are like a lot cheaper. It might just seem like a lot to me because I've been paying like two to three dollars less for iced teas. And I usually get like large iced teas and they're like usually around three dollars. I don't remember the exact amount. Um, I haven't really had much coffee this pregnancy and it just tastes so good. Yes, mommy's having coffee. Um, and I really like it. I don't know if it would be like my go-to drink. Um, especially since like pumpkin spice lattes literally come out in like less than two weeks. They come out the 27th of August. And what's today? Yeah, so they come out in like literally less than two weeks. And I'm counting down the days till they come out because you can bet your butt I'm gonna get them like the first day that they are out because pumpkin spice lattes are, I don't care if it's basic, but Starbucks pumpkin spice lattes are my all time favorite drink. Um, I don't love like pumpkin spice creamers and stuff for at home. They just don't taste as good. It's not the same as a pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks. And I don't think I've tried pumpkin spice lattes from anywhere else because like we I mean, we have a lot of coffee shops in here in Seattle, but I usually just go to Starbucks or sometimes Tully's. But like, we don't have Dunkin' Donuts here. And then in New Mexico, I usually, I hardly ever get Starbucks when we're in New Mexico, because I usually go to Pinon Coffee, which is delicious. If you're ever in Albuquerque, go to Pinon Coffee. It's literally the best coffee in the world. Um, but yeah. But um, yeah, iced soy vanilla latte. Very, very good. So thank you for the recommendation, Sadie. And I think that's all I'm gonna vlog and I'll do a grocery haul when we get home. Cause it's like, we spent like about $200 on groceries. And that's like two weeks of groceries for us, which is pretty average. We probably, we've probably spent around $100 on groceries a week, more or less. So I'll do a grocery haul when we get home. Um, and yeah, that's it for now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul. Let's see how fast I can do this without losing my breath. I got two salads. This ranch cob salad and Look. this, yeah, and this southwest salad. These Where are both gigantic. I? I didn't realize how big these are. They look smaller online. But they're green. Yeah, it's green. They're green. 
And then I got two coffee creamers. French Red. vanilla is what my husband drinks. And then I wanted to try this one, Cafe Mocha, since I'm slowly drinking Red. coffee again. Red. I want to make sloppy joes this week. So got some burger buns, got some whole wheat bread for sandwiches. I also threw in a small pack of newborn diapers to my online order. I'm gonna start doing that every time I do grocery pickup. I'm just going to throw in a pack of diapers. That way we can start stocking diapers? up. We don't really need to stock up on wipes because- Mommy, yeah, diapers? Yeah, diapers. Because um, we always have wipes in the house for like everything. Because even when you don't have a baby, wipes are just something you always use. I'm also, my toddler's potty training. So I got this pet cleaner for accidents so our house doesn't smell like pee. Got some, Swiffer wet jet, got some more dish soap, some wax paper, some sponges, just stuff we needed. I got some mini bell peppers and some bananas over here. I got two bags of salmon, um, frozen salmon fillets. I actually ordered one big bag out of the big bags, so they replaced it with two small bags, which actually, these two small bags is like um, an upgrade because I get more than I would have gotten in the big bag, I think. And then I got some french fries to have with um, floppy joes and also just to have with whatever meals. Then I got some sweet potato fries. I also got some french fry sauce because I love this with sweet potato fries. Some frozen Brussels sprouts, some frozen corn um, just to have on hand. Brussels sprouts we're gonna have for a side later this week, but the frozen corn I just like to have on hand. Also some tomato paste for sloppy joes. I got my kids some gummy and vitamins. I actually meant to get the big one and accidentally put the smaller one in the cart again. That's the thing with grocery pickup is you always have to check the sizes. Um, so I know better for next time. And then I got some chocolate chips for apple nachos, some cream cheese and sharp cheddar cheese because I want to do a cheesy beer brats later this week, some Pike's Plakes coffee, honeycomb cereal, and then for like lunches for my kids, I got some crackers and some bologna to do like, um, I like to cut them up and do like crackers, like basically homemade Lunchables. Then I got this cream cheese dip and some caramel apples, well not caramel apple dip, just caramel dip for the apples and also for apple nachos. My husband wanted some chapstick, so I got him some chapstick. And then, I got one thing of dry roasted salted peanuts for apple nachos, but they gave me two and I double checked my order. I thought, well, maybe I accidentally put two in the cart, but I didn't, they just gave me two. So um, that, that was kind of interesting. I don't really need two. We don't eat this many peanuts, but it'll be nice to have on hand. Um, some whipped cream topping for on top of waffles. I also got a bunch of these ranch dip packets. How many did I get? One, two, three. I got four of them because I love just having these on hand for like nights when um, I need something to cook but I don't know what to cook. I'll put these on top of like vegetables with a little olive oil and roast them. Sometimes I'll put them on top of chicken and they just make, it's just an easy way to season your food very quickly. And then for dinners this week we have um, some steaks, um, ground beef for sloppy joes, pork for those pork apple, um, the pork cinnamon apple stuff I was telling you about last night, and then um, some broths for beer broths, and just some stuff for like just the kids. I got a big pack of cheese sticks, I got these tangy fruit smiles, these ones are my favorite. My daughter thinks they're candy, but um, I mean they probably have about as much sugar as candy does. Okay, look at that. So this one comes with 50 pouches, but we will go through it fast. And then I also got a big thing of Capri Suns. I only let my kids each have one Capri Sun a day, so these will literally last about two weeks. And then I got a bunch of drinks for myself. Okay, let's start back here. I got just unsweetened black iced tea, um, and then I got um, all these like these sort of sparkling water drinks were... Um, they were like majorly discounted. They were like 50 cents each, and these ice ones are normally a dollar. I think these um, clear American ones are like 87 cents normally or something. And they were both discounted like 50 cents each, so I got quite a few. Um, I got two of the ice in coconut pineapple. I got two of the clear American in wild cherry. I got two of the clear American 
in oh. black cherry and they do taste different um I, I don't really yeah it's a ball I don't really know how to explain the difference but they do taste different um, and then I got the sparkling ice and black raspberry which is actually my favorite flavor and then I also got hold on one fell down but I also got two of the um, clear American and cherry limeade and so what does that make that? Two, four, six, eight, ten of these sparkling water drinks. I try to only drink one a day. Actually, like surprisingly, really, really help with my heartburn because I have been having heartburn this pregnancy. So I've been loving these. And also just like a nice re um, replacement because like I haven't been drinking soda. I haven't been drinking coffee. I very rarely drink caffeinated drinks. Today was kind of like a once in a, li once in a while thing. The only caffeinated drink I really drink is iced black tea. Um, which doesn't have nearly as much caffeine as like coffee. So um, that is it on the weight. And then the very last thing I got, which I will show you guys um, like what I'm going to put in these later, but I got four. No, did I get four? Yes, I did get four. I couldn't see the top one. I was like, oh crap, did they only give me three? But I got four of these bins and I'm going to use them for a bunch of different storage things. Um, but I will show that later in the vlog. So that is it for this really quick grocery haul. Um, and I also got a couple like fall scented things, but I'm going to save those for when I do my big, gigantic like fall home haul. Um, so keep an eye out for that video. Like I said, it probably won't be up till September though, because. I'm waiting for the Miss Myers scents to come out first, but that's it for this haul. So I said um, that I would show you guys what I'm going to use these bins for, and the first one is I'm going to put my husband's Magic the Gathering crap in there. Hopefully it fits all of this. I don't know if it'll fit the binder in the binder, but he keeps it all just like this and then he throws it in random places so I'll have like this on the kitchen table this on the countertops this on the desk right now it's just on top of this dresser so I'm gonna put it in here with a lid so it's all like together and organized because this drives me crazy he just like leaves it everywhere so I'm gonna be really snarky about it too I'm gonna put it all in here then I'm gonna put like a little note on top of it that says you're welcome because it really does drive me crazy. So I'm gonna do that right now. And then just as I suspected, everything fit, including the mat. The only thing that doesn't fit is this binder, but I opened it up and he doesn't even have any cards in here. Like I remember him, like just a couple months ago, he was spending like hours organizing all his cards and now they're he doesn't even use this. So I don't know you guys, but at least they're in here and he can like tuck them somewhere or at least when he leaves this thing on top of places I can quickly just shove it on his desk instead of having to move like a bunch of Ziploc baggies around. It dr seriously drives me crazy. So that is the first thing I'm doing with these bins. And then these next two boxes are going to be for winter gear. I got one for the kids, one for myself. Right now the kids winter gear is all right here um, in this basket and I usually put it at the top of their closet but it doesn't have a lid and it's obviously like overflowing so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here It's a snug fit. The top is popping off. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a snug fit, but once it's up in their closet and we can hopefully stack stuff on top of it, it'll be better. And then onto my stuff, which if that barely fit the kids' stuff, I don't know if this is going to fit my stuff. And again, it's another tight fit. Hopefully I can put something heavy on top and then it'll stay nice and closed. So, and then the very last fourth box I'm going to use for swimsuits, but I'm going to wait until summer ends. And then once the summer ends, all of our swimsuits and like summer hats and stuff are going to go in that one. So that is what our containers are for. Okay, so here's the apple pork chops. It's just butter two apples, pork chops, and then cinnamon, 
brown sugar, nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. I'll link the recipe um, from Pinterest down below. The recipe also calls for walnuts, but I did not put walnuts in it. Um, but here it is, it smells delicious. And that's what we're having for dinner. And here we have the apple nachos. I cut up two like smaller, they weren't tiny apples, but they were on the smaller side. Um, but I cut up two apples, divided them up amongst th the three of us, just me and my two kids. My husband doesn't want any. And they look like this. Here's mine. We I put on caramel, that cream cheese um, fruit dip that I hauled earlier, chocolate chips and nuts. My son's has no nuts because he does not like peanuts. And then my daughter's has um, peanuts, but she has um, less apples than us because she's only two and she won't eat as much. But they look so, so yummy. So that is what we're having for dessert.